Afrinic has been put under receivership towards the process of restoration, a proper member-based election where the rights of members are being protected. However, NRS has been informed by an anonymous report that TISPA, the Tanzanian ISP Association, has sponsored Benjamin, who is also a former director of Afrinic, to file an appeal against the receiver and the upcoming election while unlawfully representing Afrinic in receivership, in which he has no locus. These contentious actions have threatened to derail the rule of law in the favor of greedy, once again, and unauthorized individual players. Vip Padayaki, in particular, has taken a strong stance against the receivership. He sent a letter of complaint containing several allegations, many of which have been deemed and proven to be unfounded in an apparent attempt to block the process. Meanwhile, Benjamin Shud continually claims that he represents Afrinic despite his defunct position on the board of directors. It remains unclear how Benjamin, as an ex-director, managed to persuade the court to accept such an application, seemingly impersonating Afrinic. It is puzzling why Benjamin and his associates are desperately clinging to the last remnants of their power and obstructing the only avenue towards a member-based election. On 4th of October, in light of Benjamin and Viv's illegal representation of Afrinic, Cloud Innovation filed a case and received an injunction against both of them representing Afrinic. If Benjamin persists on his desperate attempt, Afrinic election can be delayed for many more years, awaiting the court to finalize its process. In light of this development, we strongly encourage any member who is aware of such a situation to inform the receiver that Benjamin is not an Afrinic director. Together, we can overcome the obstacles created by those attempting to impede progress and bring about positive change for Afrinic and the entire internet community.